four, five, six, seven. There's 11 there, mate. You do a tenner on them? Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. What's these games? They're all priced, mate. Yeah. Anything I'd want? Probably not. Yeah. Probably, yeah, probably out of your price, right? Yeah. You can't beat well, you get all of them. <laughs> no worries, mate. Cheers. this mate it's all working the I literally used it like two days ago yeah you know if it's all complete all the bits yeah so you um you put this bit in first and then you slot that on like that yeah. and then that goes in there right. and then and that goes on there yeah it slots on and it's an ice cream maker. Yeah, it? yeah. So, but you, um, it's got the recipes in there. So you make your, so you like that, you just press yeah. The um, yeah, you make the ice cream, make sure it's cold, and then you just keep this in the freezer for yeah. time, basically. All right. And then it'll um, turn it for you. Yeah, I'll have that. Thanks. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Lovely. Cheers. You're welcome. Thank you. How much is your PlayStation? It's all a whole set together and it's a hundred quid. Right. Games with it as well. Loads, a whole box of okay. games and a and a mat and the steering, the whole lot, clear to pack. So right, if I have a look at the games. Yeah. I'm not sending it separate though. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Oh, cheers. Uh, what's that? The wheel, speakers. Have a look at the console. Yeah, yeah. She wants to sell it all together. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got the controller for this, or the wires. Oh, the wires are there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Another one. Yeah. Sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, 
carry it all now. <laughs> I'll have to do a few. Yeah, it's alright just to put that to the side so I can. Yeah, that might be to do a proper that. Shall I just put the back of the Yeah, if you don't mind. I'll have to do a couple of trips. Alright, cheers, I'll be back in a minute. I just grabbed them bits. <sighs> Cheers. Your trainers, Which ones? the black ones, These, 15, yeah. Those, I'm doing like 40 or 50. Okay, so let's have a look. Yeah, Cheers. any watches or jewelry? Yeah, don't wear them anymore. Yeah, did you take 10? 30. Okay, yeah, cheers, we'll take that. Got any other trainers or is that? Just me about them ones, how much do you weigh? Yeah. yeah. take both of them. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. The video games, mate. I like the videos. I oh, really? really good. Oh, thank you. You're a natural. Oh, I appreciate that. Got anything I'd want? Games, toys? No worries. Well, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> Cheers. Take care. Your video games, mate. Uh, yeah, I've got some. Yeah. Yes. Lego ones today, then. Hello, PCs. What's that for games? Uh, no. no. How much are your games, mate? Night. No. How much are your games? Got a pound each. Oh, any records on you? Oh, no, no, quick, crappy, yeah. quick. Eleven there, mate. You do a tenner on them. Yeah. Have you got any more like that? I have a two boxes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have them. There you go. Cheers. Thank you, thank you very Cheers. much. Yeah. You've got the PlayStation. I'm happy now. <laughs> oh, you yeah. missed out earlier. Though. Yeah, mate. We're on the corner there. Oh. What games did you get? Any good? Uh, there's one in there. Alone in the dark. It's like forty. I didn't even look at them to be honest. Pound it. I've had a tenner for like 12. Wow, that's it's, good though. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that one's good, yeah. I don't know too much about these that's games. That's about 40 quid, that one. That's about some, 15. You've got some Jordans. You can put, you know what? I don't know if they're real, yeah, they're real. No, they don't look real. No. But I if you put them out, real. but if you put some, Ooh. Ooh. If, you put some tooth, if you put some toothpaste on oh, nice. there, that'll come off. Yeah, yeah. Are they? Yeah. They were you, two quid. You know, you can fill it, 
Been told I don't know anything about trainers. Still though, you at least get a tenner for them 15 easily. 15 quid for the pair I paid. Uh, oh, that's right, you can't claim that. Yeah. yeah. They're nice. Yeah, that's good, man. You actually bought something. It was, it was oh, mate, I was getting a bit... That's well good. <laughs> you got a bit pissed. How much is your chest set? Uh, um... Alright, let's have a look. Cheers. It's, it's quality, European as well. Quality, quality, quality. Okay. There's, um, figures. There's, oh, nice. there's, there's like stuff in there. Just shows you have the board. Oh, that is the board, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Three quid, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. It's got, I, I love my chest set. Like that. Say, see stuff in like that. There you go. Nice. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Toy Story 2, we've got yeah. his cat as well. So my son bought that when he went to see it, the pictures. So it's quite old. Which is it? How, how much is it? Two pounds. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Uh, I did have a buzz like okay. you, but he's quite fell off. So oh, I really? <laughs> How much is that? How much do I like that? £3. you take two? Yeah, cheers. There you go. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks. <laughs> How much are your cars, mate? Pound each, right. Yeah. Take them, please, mate. Three quid. Three mate. quid, yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. What's that, sorry? In what's in that, right? Call of Duty. Oh, the figures. Yeah. Okay, some of them ones, and then there's some of these ones. How much are these? A uh, pound each. Just doing on there. There's some without the box already. Into bags. Five. Not much. Not much for the whole lot. Do some of them go with these? They're mega bucks. Are you buying them off then? Possibly. Two fifteen. Left the box there, mate. Thank you. Yeah, no worries, just well. Are you 15, 10? 15. Or, yeah. or, all right. 23 quid. Worth an ass, yeah, all right. Nice one, just well. Or even that good I'll take that. Top, man. You, you, you always sort me out. Matches. How much are you doing your matches? Cheers, mate. Uh, the ones that are open, the pound these. Nice. on the top ones, and then there's two packs. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. How much is your wee? Okay. Uh, 30 pounds for the lot. £10. Suppose you'd sell that separately, would you? Pound? Yeah. yeah. I love that, please. Hello and welcome back to the channel. So the footage you just watched, I filmed a couple of weeks ago now. I haven't had time to film this bit yet, but I finally got around to doing it. So let's go over what we got. So because I filmed this a couple of weeks ago, I have actually sold a few bits, but I will go over what sold and what I sold it for. But I think the first thing that I bought at the car boot was this Magi Mix ice cream maker. Now the only reason I bought that is because the other day on our dumpster diving channel, we found a Magi Mix mixer thing. This had 80 quid on it. Magi Mix. That's a charity shop sticker, 80 pounds. 
and we looked it up and it's worth a lot of money in working condition. I think we sold it, spares repairs and made a hundred pounds. But since finding that, I'm looking out for that brand now because some of their stuff can be worth a lot of money. I took a chance on this, paid five pounds for it, having no idea what it would be worth. Um, but I've looked it up and I should be able to get about 25 pounds for that. And then straight into the good stuff, the second thing I bought was this massive PlayStation 2 bundle. It's very hard to come across stuff like this at a car boot sale. This came with pretty much every accessory that you can imagine. It came with box speakers, box steering wheel, SingStar mics, uh, buzz controllers, iToy, loads of games as well. I've gone over that console and I've tidied it up really nicely with all the inserts and everything, wrapped all the cables up nice. The actual console inside that is absolutely mint. There's not a single scratch on it at all. I've tested it, everything works as well. I'll put some screenshots up on the screen of how nicely that came out. Same with the sound station, that's all in there with the inserts, the baggies, the manuals and everything. It's in really, really good condition. Again, same with the Speedster steering wheel. That's all working, all in good condition. Most of the games that came with it were all sort of foddery games, but they're all in really good condition and most of them are complete with manuals. There was a couple of decent games in there that were worth selling separately. One of them was Shadow of Memories, and I've got that listed for £35. Another one was Crash Bandicoot, Wrath of Cortex, and I've got that listed for £10. I did also have The Simpsons Hit and Run as well, which is now sold for £17. And yeah, the rest of those weren't worth listing individually, so what I've done is I've cleaned up all the discs on my beautiful disc machine there. So all the discs are all mint, and I've bundled them with the console. And I've listed the console for £220 plus postage. I basically priced the games up at £4 each. I think they're worth that considering they're all complete. They've all got mint discs and the console's mint as well. So I think I will be able to achieve that sort of price. The sound station I've listed for £70. The highest sold I could find for that was about £40. But that one wasn't in the same sort of condition as this one is. This is way better. And I think if I wait long enough, I will be able to achieve that price as well. I've already got a lot of watches on that. The steering wheel's not worth too much. Should get about £25 for that. I've got Buzz and the controllers listed for about £20. The iToy games and camera I've got listed for 10. And then the SingStar game and microphones are listed for 14. I did also have a box stand, but I sold that at the car boot sale for a tenner. I paid £100 in total for all that, which is a lot more than I'd usually like to pay at a car boot sale for anything, but I couldn't leave it behind. It was all boxed and in really good condition. After buying it, I thought, oh, I think I've paid up a bit on that. But after getting it home, cleaning it all up and pricing it all up, I'm going to make quite a lot of money on it. So definitely a good purchase, that. The next thing I bought was two pairs of trainers for £13 in total. One of them was this pair of Jordans, which are in very good condition. They've cleaned up really, really nice. I've got them listed for £40. They are real. The other pair of trainers, the Nike Dunks, were really bad fakes. I think they were £3. I've sold them still at the car boot sale and I got a tenner for them. So that's most of my money back. And then that's pretty much all profit. Then I bought this nice big stack of PlayStation 1 games for less than a pound each. I will always pick up PS1 games at that sort of price without even looking at them. I didn't really look at these to be honest. You just have to buy them before everyone starts swooping in and trying to get them off you. Most of them aren't worth a great deal. These are probably the best two in there, Alone in the Dark and Grand Theft Auto. I thought Alone in the Dark was worth more. It's actually worth about £22. And then Grand Theft Auto is worth about 20 as well. But I've added them all up and that comes to about £90 in total. So that's near enough £80 profit. I probably will end up keeping a few of them if I don't already have some of them. But yeah, if I was going to sell them, that's about £80 profit. So I'm really pleased with that. Then we got this nice carved wooden chess set. That was about three pounds. It's not the most high quality one you can get. If you do find real high quality ones, these can sell for a lot of money. But this one was only three pounds and I should be able to get about 20 for that. Then we got a vintage woody plush. I paid two pounds for that. It's not worth a great deal. I should be able to sell that for about a tenner. Straight after that, I bought a Thinkway Buzz Lightyear figure, which is in very good condition. I paid two pounds for that as well. And that one's worth about 12. 
Then I bought three vintage cars. I've only got one left because I have actually sold the other two. Now this one is very old. This is from the 1960s and this isn't actually a die cast car. This is what you call a tin plate car, which is made in a different way. It's basically made out of sheet metal pressed into like a car shape. And these can be worth a lot of money. So if you ever see these, I would recommend picking them up. Now, unfortunately, as you can see there, it's got some damage to the roof sort of come away there it's also got um hubcap missing now if that was in good condition these can sell for like 50 60 70 pounds but this one even with the damage i should still be able to get about 15 pounds for that so from a pound paid that's a bargain and then the other two cars that i've sold were the little tow truck thing and the hovercraft again they were a pound each and i've sold them for 12 pounds and 15 pounds Right at the end, I bought a copy of Wii Sports. It was trying to sell the whole lot together, but it wasn't really worth it for the money he was asking. But I got that for a pound, and that sells on eBay for £10 all day long. And then, it might not look like it, but all these Mega Bloks Call of Duty figures was the absolute best purchase of the day. I paid £15 for these. Uh, I probably shouldn't have tried to haggle with him at all because £15 is an absolute bargain. The only reason I did is because I've never bought them before. I didn't look them up. I had no idea if they are worth anything or not. So when that's the case, I will always try and get it as cheap as I can. But I gave him the 15 in the end. I'm glad I did because in total, this all adds up to about £375 worth of figures here. Now, a lot of them are new and sealed in their boxes. I've got a few little sort of packet ones there also sealed and then loads of them are opened but they're complete with all the pieces and the manuals inside these little baggies now these ones they're all at least 15 pounds each the most expensive one is this one and that's worth about 40 pounds i have already sold one of these figures it was that one but it was an opened one in one of these baggies and that sold for 30 pounds so just by selling one of them i've made my money back plus profit so yeah if you ever see these in the wild definitely pick them up that was an absolute steal so in total, I spent £156, which comes to an estimated value of £1,100. And if we take off the money that I spent and all the fees, that then comes to £823. And then we take off 20% for the beloved tax man, and that comes to £650. So from 156 paid, I am well pleased with that. If you have enjoyed watching this video, make sure to hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe as well if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.